What's up, YouTube? Craig here. Hey, uh, so got a couple issues. Um, I've already jailbroke my iPhone 4S. Didn't have any problem doing that um, with the new uh, Absinthe version. Uh, this is version 2.0.1, so this is the latest one they came out with. Um, they came out with version 2.0, version 2.0.1 for iOS 5.1.1 until the jailbreak. But um, I've had trouble with my iPad 2, which is the version 2, by the way. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, because I got it after the iPad 3 came out and I already had 5.1 installed um, so it's the version 2 the one that they said should work but it doesn't support it um, and I got it to work and I'll tell you how I did that but um, I'm trying to jailbreak my iPod 4G for some reason it's not working and um, and if you see right here it just gets hung up right there um, and just stays you know right there and pretty much you gotta shut shut down um, Absinthe and you have to uh, reset your iPhone uh, or, or iPod or whatever you got. You got to reset it, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, but the key thing is um, uh, star, star, star here. You know, uh, key thing to take out of this is sync and back up your stuff right now. If you haven't already done so, if you don't know how to do it, just open up iTunes. All right. Um, so iTunes won't open if if this is running, but. Uh, if you don't know how to sync and back up your stuff, just open up iTunes with your device plugged in. You'll see it highlighted on the left. Click on it, then just click sync, and it'll sync and back it up. So anyway, make sure you have your device sunk and back up. Now I'm going to show you something real quick. Okay, so um, I showed you how it got hung up. My iPod 4G was trying to jailbreak. It got hung up uh, right there saying wait, uh, waiting for a reboot. And, uh, and now um, I shut down Absinthe, plugged it in, and it says error detecting device, lockdown error 5, okay? All right, there's no coming back from this. Now, your device is going to work fine, but basically you got to restore the firmware or reset all settings on your, um, on your iPod or whatever. Um, but um, uh, either way you want to do it is fine um, because 5.1.1 is the latest um, uh, firmware so right now you're fine if you want to go ahead and restore the firmware or the other option is to restore all settings on your iPod or at whatever device and I'll show you how to do that but that's the only way to get rid of uh, this uh, error detecting alright and like I said uh, if you're getting this uh, error detect uh, lockdown error 5 lockdown error trouble reading whatever um, basically what you gotta do is do this and if you're wondering why uh, I always talked kinda soft during my videos it's because I do these while my daughter is sleeping and I get a minute to myself so anyway so this is what you gotta do you gotta take whatever device you got okay here, let me unplug it and that okay first things first sync and back up your shit man don't fuck around you're gonna lose all your stuff if you don't sync back up sync back up do it all right, and after you do that, go ahead and go to settings. You're going to go to general. And you're going to go all the way down where it says reset, reset, and then erase all contact and settings. All right? And what this is doing is this is basically going to erase your stuff put to a new restored iPod. Just basically instead of restoring firmware, you're just erasing the whole thing to fa factory settings. So, go ahead and you got to erase the whole content and settings. And they're like, are you sure you really want to do that? And I'll say, yeah. Race iPod. And as long as you have your stuff sunken back up, it's not going to be a problem. So we'll stop the video right here. All right. So after it's done uh, erasing, you just uh, sets it up to a new iPod. And you um, you can just go ahead and go through the tu tu tutorial um, uh, and just go through that. And... Uh, and okay, and uh, the big thing I want to talk about right now is that uh, um, I, I, for some reason, can't get my iPod 4G to jailbreak on my uh, on my Mac. Okay, I don't know why, um, but um, but anyway, what you would do is if you only have a Mac or only have Windows, what you would want to do is to go ahead and reset. Uh, restart your computer after you've um, erased your content and all that other stuff but restart your computer so go ahead and restart and uh, for me I actually can't get it to jailbreak on the Mac so I'm gonna restart using Windows and use it through Windows and that's what I do with my iPad too and it worked 
All right, so I booted Windows on my Mac uh, with my Windows partition. Um, if you don't know how to get Windows on your um, uh, uh, MacBook Pro or MacBook, just go ahead and go to one of my videos. I'll put a, a link in the description or a link in the, um, in the annotation of, uh, and just click on it. It'll take you to it, and I'll show you how to, how to set up a partition to get Windows on it. But anyway, um, if you don't know how to, um, like I said, uh, load Windows on there, that'll show you. Or, um, but basically what I want you to do right now is after you uh, reset your device and are ready to try to jailbreak it again, uh, go ahead and restart your computer and, and, and try it that way. If that doesn't work, go to somebody else's computer with a different operating system, whether it's Windows or Mac, uh, and try it that way. And that's what I did with my iPad 2 and it works. So let's see if it works with my uh, iPod Touch. So it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Absinthe for Windows instead of Mac this time. And you always run it as administrator. Um, and then uh, we're just going to go ahead and it's plugged in. Now let's hit jailbreak and see what it does. I got a feeling it's going to work. And as you can see, it's waiting for a reboot, and it actually is rebooting. So this is going to work. Um, I, so I was having trouble jailbreaking on my Mac. Well, guess what? Not anymore. I just jailbroke it uh, with my Windows partition. So that's the beauty of having two operating systems. You get the best of both worlds. Uh, an error in one, an error in one operating system is, is good to go in another. Um, you know, uh, both Windows and Mac have their uses. You know, um, Windows got iFaith and all this other stuff, and iReb and all that stuff, and you know, Mac's got Pawnage too and all that fun stuff. So um, it's good to have the best of both worlds. And so let's go see head, see if it worked. Okay. And ooh, ooh, waiting for process to complete. So not yet. It's not done yet. Okay, so it's waiting for process to complete. But as I can see, it's pretty much completed because there's Cydia. Okay, uh, and I just want to show you real quick that we are on. iOS 5.1.1 focus in bitch uh, all right you can see it all right it says done and enjoy okay so uh, as you can see it worked uh, everything's good to go um, so like I said use um, if you can, if you don't have dual operating systems on your Mac or your whatever Windows whatever um, you know just sync it back up on your computer erase it go to somebody else's uh, computer with a different operating system and run Absinthe on it and then when it's done um, I'll show you what to do alright so um, after you're done uh, jailbreaking you know you, you've erased um, you jailbroke and um, and now it's time to uh, to go ahead and restore and get your stuff back on there, you can either uh, go to your um, you know operating system, whatever, you, whichever one you use iTunes more with, and do all your syncing. Where, whichever one you sunk back up to, okay? There you go. Um, so go to it, and you can either plug it in, and it'll say, "Hey, you want to restore from backup?" You can do that. Um, uh, if a lot of people don't know, there's also an op other option. You can right click or second secondary click on this, hit restore from backup, and then it'll bring up a list of stuff and you can pick which one you want okay either way is fine um, I'm gonna go ahead and restore from backup and so it will restore from backup you'll have all your stuff back and your jail broke and good to go so anyway I hope this uh, helped people um, go ahead and uh, hit like subscribe do all that fun stuff and uh, you know I got more stuff I'm coming out with so um, you know I just want to help people out and hopefully I do so thanks everybody